hello guys welcome to osas family tv today i'm going to prepare nigerian okra soup with correct plantain fufu so i'm going to show you guys how i prepare my nigerian okra soup how i was taught if this is your first time watching my video please subscribe by clicking on the red button down below so that you can get notifications anytime i upload a new video and I'm going to show you guys the process of how I do my Nigerian plantain fufu as well. I want you guys to come along with me as I make my okra soup and my plantain fufu. This is what I'm going to use to prepare my okra. In here, I have my smoked mackerel. In here, I have my okra. I chopped my okra because I prefer the chopped one. I don't like my okra to be grated and that smooth. So if you prefer yours to be smooth and grated, you can also use that. In here, I have my mackerel fish, fresh mackerel fish. I know you're wondering that is a lot of fish but I'm not going to be using everything for my okra soup so I'm going to take some out of it to prepare my son's okra I do my son's okra separate from mine because of the spice that is going to be inside my okra in here I have my red oil I'm not going to be using too much red oil in my okra so I'm going to take out of it in here I have my prawns this is pre-cooked prawn. The reason I use pre-cooked prawn is because of the work when you want to wash the fresh prawn. So I just prefer to use the pre-cooked one. In here I have my scotch bonnet pepper and my onions. I use the, the medium size of onions to do my okra. The first thing I have to do now is to put my macro inside the pot to cook. I have my water inside the pot. I'm going to be putting my seasoning aromat. And add my fish. I put my seasoning cube, one of my seasoning cubes. I'm going to leave it for 15 minutes so the next thing to do now is to blend my crayfish blend my scotch bonnet pepper and my onions that's my crayfish So I'm going to use this to grate my onions and my scotch bonnet pepper. You can slice your onions if you want to slice your onions, but I just use this food processor to do my onions and my scotch bonnet pepper. At this point, I'm going to wait for my fish to be cooked. So I'm going to see you guys in the next 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes now. My fish is ready. Now, so I'm going to take it out of the pot. I'm not going to throw this water away. I'm going to use this water 
for my okra just a little bit of it and also use the remaining for my son's okra that's my red oil that's my crumbs I'm going to be use I'm going to use the my red oil just to fry the prom a bit. Put in some seasoning. So at this point I'm going to be adding my scotch bonnet pepper and my onions. That's my fish stock. I'm going to pour my fish stock on it. That's my crayfish. I will allow it to boil for 15 minutes. Yeah, at this point I'll have my okra fish is always the last thing you put so that they won't break inside your okra you had your water Put your seasoning. And the leftover cube. Allow the hot crow to steam for like five minutes. I'll be back. This is five minutes now, so I'm going to put my macro fish. I don't fry my mackerel fish, but if you want to fry your mackerel fish, you can as well do that. And this is the time you put whatever you want to put, like beef, chaki, cow leg. And also, I'll be adding the smoked mackerel as well. Then you wait for like another 15 minutes for the okra to be dried. But let's I forget, you don't cover your okra. At this point, you don't cover it at all. So you just leave it to open for the okra to be to be cooked. My okra is on the fire now, so I'm going to be doing my plantain fufu. This is my plantain. I've cut it into dice, and that's it. I just want to show you guys what I'm using. I'll take my blender and just put it inside my blender. I'm going to add water. You don't need to add too much water on it. I finished blending my plantain now. It's very smooth. I'm using three of this size of plantain. So that's what is in here. That's the way it is. So before I take it to the fire, I need to check my hot cross soup now. It's 15 minutes time now. 
has my okra. You have to stir it gently so that the fish won't break inside. You need to keep on stirring the plantain. Now I'm reducing the fire now. So now it's time to hold your pot and make as if you're making pandediam. I call this my amala, but people call it plantain fufu. But there's no difference between this and amala. Amala is the padded one, the padded plantain, and this is just the fresh one I just blend. So I'm going to use this to eat my delicious okra. It's ready now. Okay.